So today on Slow Mo, we're joined by friend of Earth Unplugged, Sean Foggett from Crocodiles of the World. And we said we wanted to film crocodiles feeding. Yep. And you've got a few things in mind for us, We do. We're going to start with some small ones first. And cool. these are our Nile crocodiles, which we're going to begin with. So today we're going to be feeding the crocodiles some pork and also some rats. Rats are a nice favourite of, uh, of these crocodiles. So these guys might look quite dinky, but in fact, they grow to be the second largest reptile on the planet. And these guys are man-eaters in the wild, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they are. They're the one crocodile species that's responsible for the most human deaths. Oh. Oh man, it looks absolutely awesome. What, what's the deal with the eyes? How come they've got that weird vertical slit going on? Oh, uh, well, there's one theory going that I think you'll quite like, actually. Basically, the horizontal distance is as small as possible, a bit like the aperture of a camera. Um, so if you keep that small, you'll get a really good depth of focus. So these guys don't have to move very far to have a good focus on their prey up ahead, which is really good for stealth sort of ambush predators at night. So a lot of these nocturnal predators have it. But then you're not getting much light in, so they've stretched their eye vertically so they get more light in that way. So it's really nifty That's bit cool. of design. That's really cool. So Sean, the Nile crocs were awesome, but I kind of want to see a little bit more action. Okay, these guys are definitely the, the most ultimate of all the crocodiles. So Great. Um, we're going to introduce you to Missile and Torpedo here, which are two Cuban crocodiles. Now, they're in the top five most endangered, so there's not many of them left in the wild. Right. They've got lots of adaptations which help um, in the way that they hunt their food. They've got the longest legs of any crocodiles, which effectively gives them a very fast run and also the ability to jump very high on the land as well. well these guys will be from a distance because uh, they are um, extraordinarily dangerous. Right, okay.
massive leap, isn't it? Well, what's really nice, in fact, I only just recently discovered about crocodiles, is they can move their lungs around inside their body cavity. So they're actually able to sort of move their lungs forward, for example, when they wanted to angle their body straight up to exactly. shift that centre of gravity. Yeah. And then side to side if they wanted to roll. So yeah, exactly. It's, it's one of the ways they control their buoyancy is by moving those little air pockets around in their bodies. It's absolutely Very incredible. Cool. Yeah. Both feet. <laughs> yeah, both feet are out, look. There you go. Because they've got these really powerful legs, don't they, to get a decent jumping yeah. action. But yeah. that tail really but just the bulk drives of, them Look to me, typical sort of jump that you would see. It's all the typical. legs, yeah, all the legs tucked in. Absolutely incredible footage. 